poverty depends on a complex apparatus. If only money were the solution to it, it would be easy. The problems, they're much, much more insidious and they're much trickier than that. If you wondered why there's so many guns in America, it can be explained by three letters, N, O, and A, the National Rifle Association. And they have a strategy of inside, the inside game, they're lobbyists, and then they have their movement. Lots of businesses have this kind of lobbying power, you know. But where is the lobby for the world's poor? Our organization won. We want to be the NRA for the world's poor. We want to have the inside game and the outside mobilization. It's always social movements that change the world, not individuals. My route to where I am here now is one where I now realize you can't do this without commerce. Commerce is the greatest player in taking people out of extreme poverty. We just look at India, we just look at China. Aid and development assistance is the kind of bridge from here to there. It was an education for me to get there. We had a very snobby attitude about business and big business, and we sort of demonized it. And actually, you know, you go to the developing world, and jobs are the most dignifying thing that you could offer somebody. Because when people have work, they can sort out their own problems. I remember the legendary president of Ethiopia, Malay Sanawi, saying to me, he says, uh, our farmers are the smartest entrepreneurs on the planet. And I said, well, why is that, Mr. President? He said, because if they weren't, they'd be dead. You start to understand the dignifying nature of business. Moving from street corners to corner shops to markets to the genius of farmers who've had to negotiate really difficult agriculture and have still prospered. I don't think we should bow down to capitalism. I'm not going to. Capitalism can be a, a monster if, if we let it be. But capitalism must and will take our instruction. And I think when it does, it's quite an engine and can be a force for good. And that's hard for me to say, coming from where I come from. It used to be that campaigning for the world's poor was a very left-wing thing to do. All of us on the left did it and we were very self-righteous about it. But then, you know, if you looked across the political aisle, you'd see there's a lot of church groups doing the same thing. And people on the left be like, I'm not hanging out with them, <laughs> you know. What's great, actually, is when people who you would really never find in each other's company are hanging out together, then things get interesting. Our organization was called One because we figured we just need one thing to agree on in order for us to work together. And that is that the lives of the poor deserve better treatment. That's, that's it.